Hello, everyone. My name is Ira Fay, and I'm a game developer with Sorcery Contested Realm. And today I'm going to have the great pleasure of opening six booster packs for some sealed play. So you'll see some gameplay with pre-constructed decks. You'll see gameplay with constructed decks, but this is a really fun way of playing in limited. So each player gets six booster packs. You get to open them if, if you can. And then, uh, and then you get to build a deck and the normal deck construction rules. I'll open this pack first. The normal deck construction rules are that you can have in, in constructed play 40 spells, minimum 40 spells and uh, 20 sites. But in limited play, you have 25 spells and 12 in the atlas. So it gives you a few options. So I'm just gonna quickly try and open these packs and talk through what my strategy is for the decks that I might be building, the deck I might be building. Uh, I got an avatar, that's exciting, the seer. Everybody gets the sorcerer if you want, but you may have um, additional avatars that you happen to open. So right now I've just opened, wow, five of foil swan maidens. That's really nice. Currently I'm sorting the cards by element and I'm just seeing what am I going to get the most of that may help me have a direction that I might be going. So you also, when you're building a sealed deck, um, you get as many ordinary sites as you want and there's no card limit so uh for for duplicates normally when you are building a um a deck you have at most four ordinary sites but in sealed you can have as many copies of a card as you want obviously you have to actually open non uh ordinary sites to be able to have more room. all right i'm noticing highland clansmen that is a very expensive card. It costs seven mana, but it has charge and with five power for something like sealed play where you probably uh, have a little bit of a longer game that a card like that really calls uh, calls to me as something to consider. So far, I've happened to have opened more fire and water. So I'm thinking about that right now. Um, I guess my most notable cards or most interesting cards, Giant Shark is extremely powerful. Um, it's a five power minion that basically moves to any unit and attacks it as soon as it enters your body of water. And it is can be very powerful, probably more of a constructed card because you need to build a build around it usually. So we'll see. Oh, I got a berry. Berry is a useful um, card that can forcefully burrow a unit, which allows you to often kill it because it will not have um, burrowing. All right, I have two thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are an aura in air that lasts for three rounds and or three turns, three of your turns, and it deals damage at the end of um, at the end of each of your turns, so three damage to everything on our uh, to one target on on a site. So it can be it can be quite powerful because it's nine damage over three damage over three turns is nine damage total, which is which is a good a good deal. Oh, I got the great old one. This this is um, this is a unique card, and uh, it is the highest power uh minion in the entire set it's 16 power this is definitely going in my sealed deck um it's eight mana which is obviously a lot of mana it you know takes you a long time to build up that high but in sealed play i think it's gonna i think it's gonna serve really well oh i got a foil silver valkyries wow those that card is gorgeous holy cow full art on the back man that's super fun. Okay. Um, that's actually the first time I've seen a Silver Valkyries. This, this is an elite. This is <laughs> this is an elite card. Um, it's airborne, four power. Uh, at the end of your turn, untap all allies here. I haven't seen it in a lot of constructed play, but I bet in sealed play, that's I'm, I'm really considering that now. Not just because it's so beautiful, but I think it's actually a strong card. Uh, okay. So 
we're getting a pretty even balance right now. I'm still a little low on earth. Um, so I might, I'm, I'm definitely going to do water, like for sure going to do water because great old one is just going to be amazing. Um, probably going to do air also. Oh, this is a, this is a really nice card. This is an exceptional relic, um, costs one and bearer has one power and then it returns to your hand plus one power and it returns to your hand. So you have to spend the one mana every turn to play it out, but it can be pretty good, especially I think in, in, um, in sealed because you have, you often will have mana spent. Okay. Bridge troll is nice. Another, um, another water, just water units, water minions. Okay. Extinguish is useful against fire. If I end up playing fire uh, against fire, Petrosian cavalry is really nice. It's an ordinary moral three uh, power, but has charge and four mana. So it only requires one, one fire threshold. Oh, a pirate ship is pleasant. Five power for only four mana. Very good, but water bound. So good on the defense. If my opponent happens to be playing water, could also be good against them. All right, this is my sixth booster. I'm feeling pretty excited about what I have here. Have a lot, a lot of options. Um, I didn't call out the Belfry. I'll mention it now. This was another elite that I got. Uh, it costs three mana. It's a monument, which means you play it onto one of your sites and then it doesn't move. Nobody can carry it. At the end of your turn, untap all nearby allies. So if I have some big unit, like the great old one, I can attack with it. And at the end of my turn, it's going to untap. So, all right, I'm, I just opened a Hillock Basilisk that uh, disables the right units. A second giant shark. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm just going to go with giant sharks. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, and Ancient Dragon. Uh, okay, so I, I feel pretty clear. Ancient Dragon is incredible. Elite, um, seven mana, three fire threshold, six power, airborne, and I can tap it to deal four damage to each other unit at a target location nearby. Very strong, I think, in sealed uh, when I'm going to be able to get up to seven mana more easily. Ogre Goons, perfectly nice. Three power, three um, three mana, and Sandworms. Wall of Ice can be good. Cloud Spirit. Oh, Amazon Warriors, nice and Earth. So I have a lot of choices. I have a lot of choices. I think I can make quite a strong deck here. And... Um, I guess the moment we're going to we'll probably cause while I build the deck, but I just want to highlight what I'm thinking. Um, definitely, definitely going with great old one. Uh, I have some nice support with uh, Guile Sirens, Swamming, Foil, uh, and then Icelands can be good. Giant Sharks, if I'm going to go with it. And then I'm thinking fire. I'm thinking it's going to be a water and fire deck right now. We'll see. We'll see if I end up splashing in any earth or air, but uh, Ancient Dragon is definitely going in. So I'm, I'm really excited about Great Old One and Ancient Dragon, and uh, we'll see what I end up building, and then we'll get to play some games. Thanks so much.